Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your mid-May soul connection in separation love reading. If you've been watching my channel for a while you know that I've recently switched things up and I'm no longer doing my general readings. I am focusing exclusively on soul connections who are in separation and what that means is You've either been in a relationship with someone or you've met them along the way and there is just something, there is something very, very deep between the two of you. Um, there's a sense of belonging and this is something that you've never felt before. So you're very energetically connected, um, probably psychically, telepathically connected and it can be a little crazy making and it's very difficult to understand. There is some obstacle between the two of you, and so you're in separation, and you're probably not communicating right now, and if you are, it's very little communication, okay? So if that's not your story, then this reading is definitely not for you. They're, these are very specific readings, and they are, you know, this is a general reading, you guys, so it's not gonna resonate with everyone, even if this is your situation. The energies can also be reversed, okay? Um, a couple of announcements. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can click on the link and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. You guys, when booking, please, please, please indicate in the notes if you want a phone reading, a Zoom reading, or a pre-recorded. It helps me because then I don't have to follow up with you and ask you and do the back and forth. It saves me a lot of time, so I really appreciate it. If you are booking a pre-recorded, please provide your zodiac sign, your person's name, their zodiac sign, and you can also give me a brief description of what's you know going on with the two of you. Very much appreciated. And I do wanna say thank you to everybody who's been booking private readings with me watching my channel, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate it. I've seen a lot of growth in my channel in the last couple of months, and it's really exciting, and I just appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much. A couple more things, and then we'll get into the reading. Oops, I just bumped my camera. Um, I uh, have relocated Lord Krishna to another area of my home. Uh, something happened a few weeks ago and I was called to start channeling messages through Kuan Yin, um, from Kuan Yin, through me. And so she is here on my channel now. Um, if you don't know who she is, uh, you need to know who she is. She is the Chinese goddess of mercy and compassion. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. I have been deeply connected to her for decades. So I am just feeling very blessed that she's here with me. Um, I've also been called to offer healing sessions and those are not yet up on my website, but I hope to have them there in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Now for something a little fun. I connected with this amazing lady on Instagram a couple years ago when I started my account for Awaken with Nancy. She runs a crystal shop in the UK and she has all these animal totems and she's posting them every day and I just like lose my mind. So I did um, purchase a couple little prezzies for myself and I want to share those with you. Her name is Linda. Her shop is the White Sage Way. And if you order, I think it's $35, she offers free shipping. She's already also got an Etsy shop. So you can go on there at the White Sage Way and place your order. Um, I got this gorgeous, gorgeous um, rose quartz bunny, which I'm absolutely positively in love with. I got a rose quartz dolphin. I got a unikite dolphin, so beautiful and so unusual. And then she watched one of my videos and as a way to say thank you, she sent me some little gifts. And you guys, I've got this teeny tiny little hedgehog. I don't think you can see it that well in the camera, but it's so cute and so crazy for hedgehogs. And she sent me this little bottle of celestite crystals, which I love. And then this bottle of unikite 
heart crystals. I, these are hard to see in the camera. There's a glare, but I love them. Thank you, Linda. All right, Pisces, let's get into your reading. Um, we've got some interesting energy here. We've got denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And yeah, and then we've got faith. And so denial is related to the um, second chakra. That's the sacral chakra. That is how we relate to other people. It's about sexuality, feelings, emotions, and intimacy, okay? So you may be having fears um, about intimacy, about revealing yourself, about being vulnerable. And this is just asking you to replace that fear with insight, okay? Use, I'm sorry, with awareness, Replace the fear with awareness. Go within. With the faith card, this is related to the sixth chakra, the brow or the third eye chakra. And so this is about awareness. It's about um, your personal insight. It's about intuition, guidance, wisdom. So this is a beautiful combination. Um, this, you know, this card says faith. So just Try to see things from a higher perspective about this connection, you guys, and have faith that everything is unfolding as it should be. Now, we do have this other card that can be a little bit challenging. This is the workaholic card, okay? So for some of you, I know that money is really tight right now. We're in a very, very weird time. Um, with this card coming through, just be mindful about um, being in a workaholic energy to shut out, to try and shut out your fears, any pain that you're feeling because you're in separation from your person. Um, you know, when when we try to shut things out, they and push them down and not acknowledge them, they will come out in our subconscious. They'll come out in our dreams. So it's better just to, you know, face your fears and live in balance, okay? It's all about the balance, you guys. And then the last card that we have is commune with source. And this is about getting more in touch with your spiritual nature, your spiritual side, connecting with spirit, the universe, however you want to call it, okay? Whatever that is for you. So now I'm going to take this down. I'm going to reshuffle and I want to see what your person's energy is towards you, if they are mirroring you in any way. We've got sacrifice. What can you let go of? Wow. This is like the hanged man energy for me. And this is their energy towards you and this connection. So they know that they need to let go of something. Um, I don't believe it's you. It could be a mindset. Um, it could be fear. They, you know, they could be in the same place as you. They could be having fears about this. Um, this says, do you feel like you are being kept in the dark? Do you feel like you're buried? Redefine your thoughts to contemplate that you are not buried, but planted. Soon it will be your time to bloom, to be aware and to know. But for now, you must merge with the darkness in order to grow. The maiden has sacrificed her ego to become her primal self. Her reptile-like spine descends from her pineal gland and plunges deep into the earth, rooting her into the mother's dark embrace, plugging her into Gaia's source. When this card appears, it's time to consider what you are willing to sacrifice, to let go of, what are you prepared to recycle in life, in yourself, in people, places, and things around you in order to nourish and grow. The harder the sacrifice, the greater the exponential growth. So, um, you know, 
ego did come up in that. So your person may be needing to let go of their ego. You may be needing to let go of your ego, but there is the way they're seeing this is something has to be sacrificed within this connection in order for it to grow. And, you know, you do have some fear. So you, there may have been discussions about this between the two of you. Something that is getting in the way of this connection growing. And, oh boy, this is beautiful. We've got the metamorphosis card. So this is just a continuation of that message because this is the death card, you guys. And this is all about releasing. It is about letting something die in order for something new to be born. And it's, you know, it's about profound change. And isn't it interesting? The colors are a little bit similar in this. So this is how your person is viewing you in the connection. Um, you could be with a Scorpio. Oh, wow. Commitment. This just came up for Aquarius. So Pisces, some of you could be dealing with Aquarius, but your person, your person wants to let go of something that's going to help this connection transform. And then it's going to lead to commitment. That's what I'm getting. So it's growth. It's about growth within this connection. Oh my gosh. And we've got the judgment card. <laughs> wow. This is pretty intense, Pisces. Um, with judgment and death. Oh yeah. They, they want this connection to completely transform. We've got the five of swords. So there could have been some manipulation and mind games for sure. This is about a battle. This can be, this can be about ego. And we did, you know, hear that message about ego. So that could be something that needs to be released. It's like letting go of that ego and moving into your heart space when it comes to this connection with the judgment card. This is really about redemption. And so I feel that your person does want to redeem themselves in your eyes. Um, this is about, you know, really reviewing your life and reviewing the choices that you've made, the path you've gone down, and it's judging yourself, but without being harsh in a loving way. It's, it's really a decision point. It's a, it's a beautiful energy. This is the spiritual awakening card. And so many people are going through spiritual awakenings right now, you guys, the last couple of years, it's just like... Yeah, there's been an explosion of people going on this journey of spiritually awakening. And so it's really, they're really deciding how they want to live their life in the future and looking at the choices that they've made and, and the consequences for those choices. So it's a, it's a really lovely energy. Let's see where they're at on their journey, Pisces. Where is your person on their journey? They are learning lessons. Learning lessons. Okay. And I feel that this connection has brought in some spiritual lessons for them. I'm not surprised to see this with metamorphosis and judgment and sacrifice. And then we've got the Divine Masculine card. So for, for the ladies, this is, wow, this is powerful for the ladies. The Divine Masculine, this is the Emperor. This is the Awakened Masculine. And this is under Metamorphosis. So ladies, your, your Divine Masculine is... Um, integrating those lessons and he's transforming, he's growing, he's learning about cause and effect, those choices that he's made in life, in love, and he is leveling up. He is becoming a 
conscious being, a conscious spirit. This is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, for the men, this could be um, your person seeing you as the divine masculine and seeing you as the one. And these lessons that have come in for them are, and this spiritual awakening, it's, it's brought on this realization that yes, this is a very special connection. You are the one. There's something different about you and you guys really belong together. You're different than anybody your person's ever been with. Oh my gosh, we've got the five of wands and this is coming in under commitment, okay? So you and your person could have been having a tug of war about commitment. One of you may be resistant to committing, to formalizing or not, yeah, formalizing the relationship. But with the five of wands, this is also about competition. So there could have been something or someone who was interfering in this connection and it didn't allow for there to be a commitment. So just take what resonates. Now we've also got the 10 of cups and this is coming under judgment. And what I feel is that your person has been chasing after the wrong things. And there is this message of ego that keeps coming through. Okay. So they may have been, um, pursuing things that fed their ego, but didn't bring in like this emotional contentment and satisfaction. And this is exactly why judgment is coming through. Um, because they're they're reviewing their life basically it's like yeah I've made these choices but it didn't get me where I wanted to be and so now they're they're doing a self assessment and trying to figure out what it is that is going to bring in this ten of cups this happily ever after this satisfaction this emotional contentment and it's you and they're they're beginning to realize this so beautiful beautiful. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take down these two cards. I want to reshuffle and I want to see what is challenging them. <clears throat> Destiny is challenging them and that's coming under lessons and sacrifice. And so I do feel that... Um, you know, part of what needs to be sacrificed is releasing the ego because that's a message that keeps coming through and it is a sacrifice to, you know, <clears throat> sorry, you guys, to have a realization that we have been living through our ego feeding our ego through our experiences in life and really not approaching things from our heart. So destiny is definitely challenging them with all these lessons coming in, knowing that in order to be with you, their destined one, they, they have to go through a, a huge transformation. I think they're willing to do it, um, but it's still, you know, it's still not easy. Change is not easy, you guys. And then we've got grief and this is related to the heart chakra. And this is coming in under the divine masculine. So there is a lot of grief that they're holding on to in their heart space and it is challenging them. They're working through it. Um, but you know, they're releasing things and they could be very, very emotional at this time. Um, oh, you know what I'm hearing, um, that Taylor Swift song, Delicate, that's what I'm hearing. It's a, it's a delicate situation. Oh, we've got fear. And that's under the five of wands and commitment. So there could be a fear of commitment for your person, for sure. Um, big dreams is coming under the 10 of cups and the judgment card. And 
this is challenging them. It's almost like they're, they don't want to dare believe that they could have this happily ever after. You know, sometimes we get in our own way, you guys. Then we've got the Four of Wands. <laughs> this is related to the Ten of Cups and the Big Dreams. This is challenging them. This is building a foundation. This is a commitment. We know that they want the commitment, but there is some fear. There is some pain in their heart. They're, they're, they're on a journey to find the, the Ten of Cups, um, and they want this commitment. They have big dreams, but it's challenging them. And then the Eight of Wands, that's about communication and moving forward. That's also challenging them. So they're, you know, they're a little bit stuck right now, um, but they're, there's a willingness to do the work, okay? So it's just one foot in front of the other is what I'm feeling. It could take some time. But they, you know, I do feel that they are making progress. It's more of a limiting belief system. It's this fear that's getting in the way. Let's get some messages from their higher self. I am not available. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing. But they're not available because they're in this place of um, fear and grief. So they, you know, they're, they're working on it. I left you before you could leave me. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they, what I'm really getting from this is they wanted that 10 of cups with you, but it, they, they just sabotaged it. They sabotaged it. They left you because if you would have left them, it, it would have just been soul crushing to them. So they, they darted out before you could leave them. And now they're regretting it. I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, they're thinking about you a lot. The magician. They're wanting to manifest this connection back into being. They're wanting to manifest a lot of things. They're wanting to manifest this Ten of Cups. Four of Wands, they do, you know, they've got such big dreams. And they're, I feel like as they move through the sphere and start releasing this grief, that they are going to become more powerful um, and, and more um, confident in their power to manifest. And then we've got the King of Cups, and that is absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, this is them just saying to you that they have deep, deep love for you, deep love for you. Even if they haven't expressed it, Pisces, they do have very, very deep love for you. But they are in a place of trying to master their emotions, okay? Let go of this grief, let go of this fear so that they can manifest this connection back into being. And then we've got vibrations. They're working on um, raising their energetic vibration right now. And as they do that, they're going to, you know, it's all related to releasing this grief and this fear, the ego. As they do that, as they do this releasing, this letting go, it is naturally going to raise their vibration which will help heal things within this connection, even if you guys are still in separation. The more we work on ourselves, the happier we are, the higher our vibration is. It's going to help the connection, you guys, because your person is very energetically connected to you and they can feel your energy. So when you're in a lower vibration, they feel it. When you're in a higher vibration, they feel it. Um, <clears throat> so what the, what spirit has to say about this connection is obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Yeah, that's really what I'm feeling with the vibrations, grief and fear. It's like 
your person, probably both of you, need to do some healing. This is a common theme. I probably say this in every single video, you guys, but it's true. So it's important to focus on yourself. And then we've got mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. And we do have the lessons card up here. I feel that both of you have learned significant spiritual lessons from this connection. And that is a lovely thing. And then we've got warning. Don't dismiss the red flags here. So what I'm getting from this is um, if you guys come back into communication and there are some red flags that come up. That is just a reminder that it's not quite time for you guys to come back together. As disappointing as that may be. Um, so if your person reaches out and you start communicating, I know it's going to be very exciting. I just saw the Six of Cups. But this is really asking you to be aware, be mindful of the red flags and don't let your joy and excitement, um, you know, uh, take over so that you lose any discernment. That's what I'm getting. Okay. What are their intentions? <clears throat> Two of Wands. That is about a decision, and I feel it's more about them and their journey. You know, we do have the judgment card, so they're really in a place of um, self-improvement right now and just trying to understand uh, and integrate um, the fact that every choice that we make has a consequence. And so they're carefully evaluating how they want to move forward. And then we've got the page of cups and, you know, I do feel that they want to come towards you and express their feelings to you, but it's, you know, with this energy, it's a very young energy. It is a page and they're just feeling very, very unsure right now. And we've got third party. So there is something that's interfering within this connection. There may have been a third party. Um, there may have been a third party, okay? And what I'm getting from this is there is an apology that needs to be given or received. Um, but this is their intention. So there may have been someone else because we do have the five of wands up here. So I feel that they're really wanting to apologize to you about that. And it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner. It could be family. It could be, you know, a job, a career, a business that got in the way, um, that put a wedge between the two of you. And then we've got divine timing. So they're just allowing things to unfold. Um, and I see that with the eight of wands that is challenging them. It's like they do want to communicate with you, but they want to do it in the right time. And, you know, spirit is saying, you know, um, yeah, with the obstacles, it's like it's not time. It's not time. So what's in their heart, <clears throat> my throat, you guys, I'm so sorry. What's in their heart is the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So they definitely want a new beginning, a long term, you know, we're seeing the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you guys, they want happily ever after with you. The Three of Wands, this is really about waiting for the right time, waiting to see results. And with the Seven of Cups, it's like they're probably fantasizing about that day. They're probably fantasizing about what it would be like to be in this Ten of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles energy with you. They, It's almost like <clears throat> they cannot wait for the day. Beautiful. Let's see what a potential outcome may be. Ooh, I like this. The Ace of Wands. That is, you know, that is uh, 
spiritual journey, the beginning of a spiritual journey, but it's also a passionate new beginning. So we've got the Ace of Wands directly under the Ace of Pentacles, and both of those speak about new beginnings. So that is great energy. Oh my gosh. And we've got the Tower and the sun it's like this is divine intervention it's like everything fell apart between the two of you for a reason it brought on these realizations for both of you that this can be rebuilt and they're wanting to rebuild it okay and with the sun this is about expansion abundance growth illumination it's it's joy it's happiness it's vitality beautiful Beautiful. This is what they want with you. This is a potential outcome. But then we've got the crossroads card again. And we've got signs. So you're both going to be receiving signs that are going to lead you back to your person. Okay. Um, with the crossroads, it's like what I what I'm feeling is you're both wondering how to approach it, when the right time is, how to approach it, how this is all going to come back together. But I feel that this is very positive energy with signs, the sun and the ace of wands. So it is, you know, we did get the divine timing card. Um, so I just feel it is a matter of time before you guys start communicating and you can start rebuilding this connection. All right, Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I upload. I'd love to hear your comments on this. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're all safe and well, and I'm sending lots of love to you. Bye-bye.